of 13 scheduled MMA contests this event. Three three minute rounds in the 135 pound division. Your referee for this contest, Mr. Daddy on Motherhead. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time in the blue corner. Representing Masters Academy, an undefeated MMA fighter with two wins and no losses. Jazz C! And his opponent in the red corner. Representing Lions Gym, an undefeated MMA fighter with one win and no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one more time. Garon Oh, I'm looking forward to this one, John. Garen Shamar fighting out of the red corner, representing Lions Gym with 1-0 record. He's in the black trunks, the black venom trunks trimmed with red. He takes on Jazz Singh from the Masters Academy, fighting out of the blue corner, the black, white, and red venom long shorts. Dan Marvahedi starts us off. And oh. Garen Shamar, big right hand there, stunned uh, Garen Shamar there from Jazz Singh. Well, Shamar was... Very pumped up. Yeah, definitely. But I don't think he was expecting <laughs> such a fast start from Jazz Singh. He threw that one, two. Almost looked like his eyes rolled back slightly, but looks like he's got his wits about him again here. Yeah, it's tough starting to pressure Jazz Singh up against the cage now. 2 0 record for Singh, 1 0 record for Samar. Yeah, when you look at that 1 0, that one is against Luke Nile, who's fighting for the Bantamweight title later yeah. this evening. So, superb win on his record already. I think that's what he was talking about. Win or lose, I want that title shot. And these two look like they're more than happy to stay standing and trade on the feet with a little bit of space. Jessing turns Samar's back to the cage and we reverse position again. Neither of these men willing to give anything to the other. He's not under to turn the position. So he's on the left-hand side there, just controlling his uh, Garen Shamar with that underhook. And stays busy there as well, just pops away, couple of shots to the head, knee to the That's body, to shots the body, yeah. to the body. Shamar now is happy to embrace the grind. Yeah, using that nice head position there. Using his third arm almost, pressing up against the, under the, up and under the chin of, uh, of Jazz Singh. Referee now asking to see a little more progression in the position. And as he asks for it, Samar starts to try and pull Sin down to the floor. Exchanging knees and just seeing there reverses the position now. Samar is so, so big for these weight class, so tall and imposing. And again, just trying to chip away. Trying to get Shamar off that body lock. It's going to be very, very difficult whilst he's got the underhook on that left hand side. Controlling it really well. Here the Lions Jim calling for the knee whenever the opportunity presents itself. But yeah, Shamar is just peppering away those guys. Uh, a beautiful job there. Just pulls the leg away. And, and straight on to the back. One hook in. Is he, I can't see if he's under the chin. It looks tight. Not ideal with just the one. Oh, there it is. The calf. Ooh, I think we have a new contender for whoever the bantamweight champion is. He's super bummed right now. Superb performance on Garrett Shemar. As soon as he got that fight to the mat, he jumped on the back so quickly, snatched up the neck. The rest was history as I said. Absolutely say. great performance from the young. Lions Den Prostick, Garen Shamir. As he earns the victory via rear naked choke.
gentlemen, please put your hands together for both of these fighters. <laughs> Referee stopped this contest at 2 minutes 45 seconds of the very first round to the winner by a rear naked choke, Garon Shima! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by your winner, Garrett Shimmer. First round victory in front of a massive fans just behind us here. Tell us how you're feeling. I look, I feel great, but I just want to say before I miss it. Listen to this. Listen. Listen, that, that's all I need. Every time I step in here, I want to meet myself. Everyone who comes out to support me and my team proud has to learn I'm sure you certainly did with that performance now. Moved your record on to 2-0. Oh. You already have a victory over Luke Nile, who's fighting later on today for the amateur bantamweight title. Are you looking to fight the winner of that fight later on? Hey, look, of course I want the title, but listen, I ain't looking any tough fights. First of all, tough at me now, yeah? And when can we uh, expect to see you back in here? Huh? When can we expect to see you back in here? As soon as possible, as soon as possible. Look, I don't come in to this room, uh, to this cage, try to win or lose or anything. I just need every piece of me inside this cage every single time, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, superb performance from your win here, Mr. Garrett Shema. Let's give it up for him one more time.